Okay, right now I'm gonna start this uh this topic topic of what's going on. Um, I gotta say like uh, the topic's gonna be remove the Obama administration out of the White House. Like remove the whole entire Obama administration. If you remove okay as American citizens if we move the Obama administration out the White House we would see we would see first of all we would see peace because right now it's a lot going on and a lot of it's got a lot to do with division think about what's going on division in the country right now this uh, video is into the guys it's a side rock one um, it's this uh, trending topic is about removing the whole Obama administration Biden Obama Marco Rubio um, and it's like Every time we get somebody to protect the American country, we always have, you know, we always have failure. You know, like Marco Rubio was supposed to stand for the people, and he neglected everything he actually promised. I mean, he he neglected the whole American race. If you think about what's going on, like the whole American race was neglected. You know, he neglected everything. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people feel that. Uh, Senator Ted Cruz and Rand Paul is also uh, going to be backstabbers. I don't know. I think Senator Ted Cruz is a, is a good choice for 2016, but I'm not sure. A lot of people feel different. They feel um, some people feel obligated that Ted Cruz should win. Um, I personally don't. I personally don't want to vote. My like, own voting is like voting nowadays can be. It could be a failure, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't study the person, you gotta put a process to everybody that's in the White House. Nowadays, if you don't put if you don't put a process in the White House nowadays, then you're not gonna have no success. Like you're not gonna have any kind of like you can't trust majority of the people that's in the White House nowadays that wanna be in, uh, uh, elected, they can't be trusted. You know, uh John I mean, what is his name? Uh McCain. John McCain, he was a back. He was once saying he was for the people, then became a backstabber and, and wanted to do a gun ban. And he turned his back on Americans, and then Marco Rubio, he was one of those that just automatically just said he was going to stand for the people's rights, and he was not going to approve the immigration reform bill. He was not going to stand for gang of eights, and then he just approved it, and he passed the bill, and he just just backstabbed everybody, you know. So this this video is into regards of just removing the whole Obama administration. Anybody who stands for Obama, you know, uh, on Twitter, you know, you know, it's, I'm an angry patriot. You, know, you can follow Bruce Line 22 on Twitter. Twitter, yeah, Twitter is uh, Bruce Line 22, and you can follow that. So if you follow Bruce Line 22, you could probably you could probably figure everything. Angry patriot, you will find all kind of stuff. Like you will find uh, you can you can find pretty much everything on the blog. Everything I stand for. Um, and it's time that every Patriots take a, the America back, you know. You know, it's time that we take America back for a better, like, a better, you know, a better environment. Because right now, the, the whole the country is, like, screwed right now. And, and Chicago is... My main goal, I'm not going to even, I mean, I'm not going to get into the Trayvon Martin case fully, but what I will mention is, is that why would people want to riot for a case that happened a year ago? I mean, if you're going to riot, I mean, we know uh, Chicago has lost thousands of, uh, of innocent kids, innocent children in Chicago, Illinois has lost. Since Trayvon Martin was killed, we've lost four to five, six people that weekend that they rioted. And none of, the, none, of the, none of the black leaders want to riot for all the black children that we lost and Hispanic children we lost and the white children we lost. Everybody want to riot for black children. Um, Trayvon Martin was probably the only black ch child that they rioted for. Um, but I think black leaders have also failed us in America because a lot of times um, it's, it's just it's outrageous. A lot of people say... Um, that they feel, you know, a lot of people feel that uh, a lot of black leaders, they stand for the people, uh, like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, they're just pro-black people. 
if you're not going to be leaders, Martin Luther King Jr., but he's still for Hispanic, white, Asian, he's still for everybody. It was a couple of Indian, Asian leaders with him. It was a couple of Europeans that was with Martin Luther King Jr. I went to school with a couple of people that knew Martin Luther King Jr. Their grandparents knew him. You know, you can't overlook the uh, the whites. You can't overlook the Asians, the Indians, the people that stood next to Martin Luther King Jr. You know, everybody want to riot for Trayvon Martin, but nobody wants to riot for... Uh, the thousands of the children we lost, the black on black crime. Where's the riots for the for the, uh, Darian Albert? Where's the uh, the riots for the innocent uh, kid that we lost, the white beautiful baby that we lost? It was two or three black teens killed the baby. I mean, a couple it was a Facebook incident where a couple was tortured by black children, two teens, and it's like they overlook what's going on because, you know, you got to think about it. You got to think about everything that's going on and say to yourself like, when are when are people gonna get out of themselves? You know, you got to think about everything that's going on from what happened years ago to now. And if you're going to be in, a, if you're going to be a black leader, be a leader for everybody. You can't just look at the black people. OK, like personally, after I heard that they rioted for Trayvon Martin, I didn't even want to go outside or anything like that. I mean, of course, I'm not afraid of anything, you know, because on a daily basis, I like to look after people. You know, I'm, I don't have no degree or anything. I'm not going to sit here and tell lies and say I got certifications of degrees I was deprived of. Um, when I don't have that stuff, you know, I don't know what that's like yet, you know. Um, Chicago, Illinois is a, is a state of misery. It's a state of liberal and democracy. So, everybody in Illinois that's pretty much living a, a good life is liberals that are rich. If you're not rich, white liberals that's crooked to the Constitution and you backstab the American people, you're not going to understand what Americans being. You don't know what American is. You don't know what the Constitution is. And the only way the Constitution can protect us as Americans is we got to protect the Constitution first. And a lot of people that's been in America, they have not actually protected the Constitution. You know, uh, from Biden, he's a fool. And if you're going to impeach Obama, impeach the a whole Obama administration. How you going? How you going to overlook that? Like, how you going to overlook just all you know? Some of the people that's how you going to overlook some of the people that's uh, destroyed the Constitution. You can't just riot for black children. White children we lose too. Who's going to support the U.S. troops? We lost thousands of troops. Nobody in the Obama administration wants to men, uh, mention the troops that we've lost in the past years or so. Nobody, okay, so we're going to riot for Trayvon Martin. Now that we're going to riot for one kid, one teen that they got negativity on. Okay, I'm not saying that he was, you know, he deserved to get killed, but, you know, because he didn't deserve that. But Zimmerman's, uh, Zimmerman's Second Amendment rights was violated. And no no kid deserves to die. But if Florida has a stand your ground law and a person beats you up, how do we know if, if Trayvon was not going to start beating up, uh, stop beating up just Zimmerman? We don't know what he was going to do. But we're going to get off of that because I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about that right now. But if we if we mention okay, look at all the children we lost in Chicago, right? Liberals and Democrats pay millions of dollars for drug cartels to have weapons, and they send they ship all that to the South Side. The real bad neighborhoods, you know, the gang infested neighborhoods. Illinois has got 115,000 gang members right now. And um, and Obama administration just, they, you know, I'm not saying that Bush was any perfect, but at least Bush stood for the troops. You know, he stood for the Constitution. He didn't believe in um, uh, unlawful uh, constitutional things that, they, that he's done, that he's not. You know, Bush got us in the first recession since the Great Depression, but Obama got us in the since recession since the Great, Great Depression. You know, Bush got us in in um in seven trillion dollars in debt. Okay, that could have been recovered if we got Al Gore as the president, which was a better choice anyway. Uh, but Obama got us twenty trillion in debt because he's the big he's the biggest government spender ever. I mean, how you gonna be a president? And we got hunger in America. We got people struggling in America, and you spend all the funding for college students, medical Medicare. Other children that's going through in, in, in states like Detroit. Detroit found that Detroit was finalized that they were collapsed, the whole state. But they took Detroit has been pretty much horrible like that for like decades. Detroit's been horrible on on uh, on a deadline of shutting the whole state down on the financial collapse. They was going through that threat for like a very long time. They didn't have no um no kind of backup, you know. I think a lot of American citizens need to focus more on being independent, um, focus more on coming together, helping 
uh, helping educate one another. Um, I was my, I myself was uh, neglected and, and deprived of high school diploma. From Stevenson High School, Stevenson High School, was supposed, Stevenson High School was supposed to be uh, Chicago's number one ranked high school, but you know they deprived me. You know a school can't be number one ranked. They can't be number one if they souls weren't number one. And that that situation I uploaded on Twitter and I told everybody you know everybody wanted me to upload a video, and I did that. And this video topic is remove the whole Obama administration. That's what I'm gonna put on on the headline. Um, just just remove them, you know. But the Stevenson High School situation was, I was supposed to graduate. Uh, in 2006, I, I came, we moved, I moved from Florida in 2006 with my family. And 2006 was, was a very tough year. Came here from Florida to move to Vernon Hills, Stevenson High School in Lindenhurst. Um, I did my year that they wanted me to do. I have a, an ID that says 12th grade on it, but I'm not going to show my personal information on YouTube. I mean, I could, I could probably show something, but uh, it's, it's, I have a I have a 12th grade ID, and, you know, they told me I can graduate school. I had 300 credits. I completed every, I completed the whole year as a senior. They lied and said I dropped out of school, and I completed that year. They're liberals and they're Democrats. Their reason for holding me back was because they didn't feel that I could be independent. They didn't feel that I could make it on my own. They assumed and they racial profiled me. They stereotyped me. They were racist whites at the time. And I myself is not racist. Why be racist when Christ wasn't? I accept everybody. We're our American. It don't matter if you're black, white, yellow, orange, blue, or gray. If you was born in America, you American. That's the reality of it. And the school neglected me and rejected me. I had a meeting with my mom at the time. And Ms. Seeger and the principal agreed. That was the name of the counselor. She was the racist counselor at the time. And she agreed to graduate me. Um, the agreement was let him finish up the year, let him complete everything, and if he's got the credits enough to graduate, he can graduate. I completed that year. I didn't get a diploma. Um, they lied to my whole family. We was all looking forward to it. They treated us like illegal immigrants, and we had just came out of Florida. Florida is a part of the United States. So at the time, you know, it happened. Like, all this kicked off. Around that time, all this kicked off, and a um, very devastating year. Just came out of a Hurricane Katrina in that year. Uh, it was a big. We had like three floods that we came out of, and this school just decided not to give me a diploma. You know, they they was they was they stereotyped me. They racially profiled me. They discriminated against me because I was a special ed. Of course, you're gonna go mental coming out of three hurricanes. You had three hurricanes coming out of another state. You going to a state because your mom got accepted to Allstate Insurance, and then the adjuster says your parent got accepted into an Allstate Insurance company to have a career that she worked hard for to get her certificate. I mean, she worked hard for to get her degree in Florida. Came out, came back out here to get a a, a career. Then a fool want to run off and say it's not where it's not going down like. The Austin Insurance Adjuster just automatically just runs away. He he runs away. The person that promised my mom a career in Vernon Hills in Burlington runs away. After after promising her this, he he already said we will cover the trip, we will cover the, the their rearages and everything, so you can have a career. We got here. My mom got the already sent a fax in for the 440 license, and she did that. She sent in a 440 license, her, her certificate, her degree. She graduated from our, uh, all state insurance school in Florida, out in Orlando, 2006. She sent all the information to the people. They said she got the job and the position. But once we come here, they just run away. This is what Illinois is all about. Liberals and Democrats that don't want to see people like us. And everybody that I speak for, Hispanic, Asian, everybody, even white people too. Because there's, there's races and racist, discriminative Democrats and liberals that discriminate against whites too. If they rich, they discriminate against the poor. At the time, we was poor. We had just came out of three hurricanes. Not one, but three. And they just told us no. Chicago, Illinois is based on those. And all that's according to all the people that backstab their own people. We got Christians in Illinois that assume that they have God, but they don't follow the word. They don't follow the path of Christ. How you going to be a Christian and you neglect the people? I go to a church, I'm supposed to go to a church, and I'm supposed to be accepted. I want to I be a part of the kingdom, and I get rejected. 
I'm looked at as a criminal, but I ain't never had a criminal background. I want to be a security guard to protect the kingdom from Islam takeover or break-ins.